All right, guys, welcome to another Bass Daily. I'm your host, Miles Jackman. Um, today, uh, we're going to be fishing. It's uh, pretty cold. Got to grab my gloves. Um, we're just going to get out there. I brought the kitchen sink with me because I, I struggled so hard yesterday. So we're just going to get out there and see if we can catch some fish. With a pocket of cash, foot on the gas Ready and throwing up a little dust Like a pickup truck does in the mud But ain't nobody slowing us down Right now She said I need a little something With some get up and go And nobody knows how to get me going Quite like you do when you're doing the things that you do Wanna get this sleepy boat on town Something to talk about We will tell Cut a path through the corn off County Road 44 Torp a fence, jumping a ditch Felt so good, we didn't want to end So we went looking for a dive just to kill some time So it's been like tough as nails out here the last couple of days And that's why my video yesterday was on a tough uh, conditions bait Today's going to be more of a vlog style But um I'm throwing this little 4 inch, uh, I think this is a Case Plastics uh, Senko, um, just a little 4 and a half inch, it's got a little 1 or 2 uh, uh, octopus style finesse hook, and this is like a, as finesse as it gets, <laughs> at least for me, which I'm known as more of a, uh, I like to fish faster, but I cannot do any of that today. I'm just casting it out there, letting it sink, and quit, and then just twitching it back every now and then. This is just super finesse. I actually caught one keeper on it doing this and I was getting like no bites. I mean, me and Nate were out here all day yesterday and we threw the kitchen sink at him and we did not get one bite. I mean, I caught a couple on that mojo rig, but that, that was just like, I'd get, I'd make a good cast and it just land and like I'd get the bite right off the, right off the cast. So it was more of just like a, I was getting lucky casts on their head from just fishing all day in this small area. It's another thing I do not like is when you're fishing in these small areas like this, you get discouraged quick. Got one. I mean, like, this is just a small fish, but I cannot tell you how good that feels. I mean, I went two days almost without catching any fish, and then I just kind of got on this small Senko deal, and I'm I'm kind of whacking all the dinks. I mean, they're little fish, but it's it's still so much more fun catching them instead of throwing a swim bait, throwing a jig, you know, and not getting the bites. Because, like, I've fished them. I've tried my best, you know. The wheels, the wheels started coming off the butts. So that's why I'm so happy catching all these small ones. And they're not all small, you know. I got a couple keepers. We could do it some dance and it didn't take long. Just a couple of songs, you know, it's last call when the law comes walking in. So we will tell lights fading from some blue lights chasing Put a path through the car Little head shaker It's a bigger one one I need right here. My drag is set perfect. <sighs> Broke my rod, but I caught him. I have a warranty on this rod, so that's all good. Just caught one on that little little Senko. That's one of the females I was talking about. Slow it down in the springtime. 
stuff like this is gonna happen if you're a fisherman. You really can't let it get you down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go change out real quick, but this is stuff you cannot control. The fish and the bites, you, you have some saying that. This kind of stuff you can't control. You just gotta stay positive, positive mental attitude. Sucks, but it happens. Up a clear blue sky, and the kids are crying for that woman are gonna flood you big river. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. This little Johnny Cash, catch a good one. Come here, girl. There she blows. There's a better one. I'll take those all day. And then five biggins. One thing I'm really trying to get away from is holding the holding the fish vertical or like uh, at the 45. It's best holding like this. You won't screw up their jaw. And I'm really trying to get away from holding them the other way. And he catches one on the on the next rod in the lineup. Relax, buddy. It's a gorgeous little fish. Got a lot of black in him. Came up. Saw that. Ate that little Senko. Pretty little male. Now the bite with a wacky rig is actually uh, a lot different than like a. It's not a thump. Um, usually you just pick up and you feel the pressure on the line when you pull up and then you just kind of, I usually just hold it there and as soon as, it, it might bounce a few times or he'll kind of pull away from you, then you reel down and just drag in. If you don't whack him, you're not fishing the jig, but you just kind of lean into him. A lot of times just you start burning the reel. All right guys, wrapping up the day, it was a, uh, it is an all right day. I was about to say it was a good day, but it just felt like such a good day because I was, me and Nate and you know, myself, We've really been struggling. Um, we've been throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him and not getting the bites. And I was throwing a five inch wacky worm today and was not getting any bites. I switched over to this little four and a half inch, this little case plastic, uh, their magic stick, whatever they call it. Just like a watermelon red. Um, just got a little octopus hook on there. I got a 10 pound Power Pro uh, Spectra Braid to an eight pound uh, Sunline uh, FC Leader. And this is the only thing I could get bites on today. I got two good bites that um, if, it was a, if it was a derby, I think um, I could have caught the limit because I would have had more time during an eight-hour thing. But um, just got out here for two hours or three hours or whatever and caught some fish. Now, the way I was fishing is I'd make a long cast as long as I could with this uh, light little worm. Don't want a spinning tackle. Uh, this is a Fluger Tryon, um, uh, six foot six medium, and I was throwing that six nine medium light, but you guys saw that broke. And this is just uh, Edward Garcia or a uh, good drag on a spinning reel. And I would just cast that out, um, let it sink, and then kind of pick up my rod, twitch it every now and then, and then drop the slack, wait a couple seconds, uh, you know, longer than this or whatever, and then pick up. And usually it'd be, they'd get it on the fall, and then when I'd pick up, I'd feel pressure on the end of my line. And then when I felt that, that pull in the end of my line, I'd kind of tighten down a little bit, and then they'd kind of pull it, and they'd kind of crush it. They'd take it in when they feel that pressure. And then you know you reel set into them, and that was how I caught them today. I know I didn't catch a lot of them, but I caught a couple good. Or I know I caught a lot of them, but I didn't catch any big ones. Um, cut a couple two pounders, but that's sometimes how it is. These tough conditions, um, you can throw whatever you want. And sometimes you can't get a bite. Switched over to the smaller tackle and got some bites today. It was pretty good. Riker's having a good time, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it was more of a week vlog, but hey man, we caught some fish today. Good too. Oh, Riker just kind of chopped my nuts right there. Don't want to do that. 